Will the housing market need a miracle for affordability to return? And will mortgage rates go to 9% by the end of the year? I'm Chris Lamb and this is my market update. I hope you and your family are doing well. This has been such a crazy year for real estate. If you go back to the fourth quarter of the year, when inflation spiked, mortgage rates spiked because mortgage rates always follow inflation. And the media and so many people, including lots of Zillow articles and people that were putting out publications, predicted that home values would fall. Now, if we go to any other housing market, when interest rates go up and the cost of money goes up, usually we see more inventory, which causes sellers to drop their prices, which brings values down. This year, we are going to end the year nationwide with appreciation, even with rates in the sixes and sevens all year long. And it's really simple. The reason why is because of supply and demand. Right now, if we look at the current stats in America, there's two months of supply, which is basically two months of homes getting bought before there's no more homes available and people are buying homes still. Now, the question I was asking is who's buying homes? The reality is it's expensive to buy right now. Now, I know people will say, I remember when rates were 16 and 17%. I hear people say that often. Home prices were $60,000 back then. You know, today we have this very interesting time where we have expensive homes and we have a higher cost for money. And so there are still people buying homes. It's people that are not affected by the rates and it's people that have have to buy and they don't have an option. You know, these are people that are moving across the country, job transfers, people getting married, people getting divorced, and there's less people buying, but with the amount of homes that are available, it's still putting pressure on the inventory that exists. So the big question people are asking is, when is this going to change? I walked in a real estate office yesterday and one of the guys that manages the office looked at me and he said, when are rates gonna go down? And my reply to him was, when are home prices gonna come down? Because at the end of the day, even though we will see mortgage rates come down possibly in a big way sometime between today and the election next year. What people have to understand is this is going to be temporary because I can tell you for my case in Reading and some of the clients I have in other states and for any other mortgage professional that I know, they literally have hundreds of people that are waiting on the sidelines to buy a home when these interest rates come down. Well, you don't have to be a mathematician to kind of play that tape out. When rates come down, we're going to see an increase increased pressure on the already tight inventory and it's only going to push prices higher and it's going to get to a point where it doesn't matter what the interest rate is if prices go up we're going to be right back in the same boat that we're in today and so a lot of the articles that are out there today they're basically saying that what is it going to take to bring affordability back into the housing market you know if i'm honest with you no one really has that answer right now i think what's important that people understand is number one if you are thinking about buying a house and you should be you really want to make sure that you're preparing yourself. You know, for some people, it's not possible right now. And I totally get that. But you can put yourself in a position to where it is possible for you sooner than later. There's a lot of people doing things like getting out of debt right now. Uh, there's people that are figuring out how to get extra certifications or jobs or asking for raises. I've been many of my clients who I told them, I said, hey, you've been at this company for a long time. I will tell you as an employer in California, finding good people is very difficult and keeping them is difficult as well. You have a lot of leverage right now to go to your employer and tell them you need to buy a house to secure housing for your family and you should ask them for a raise, there's a pretty good chance that they will give it to you. And so people need to work on, yes, getting out of debt, but it's really important that people are finding ways to raise their income at the same time. Now let's talk about interest rates. You know, so currently here in September, mortgage rates have been in the sevens. Uh, you might be able to get the rate down into the sixes depending on points, credit score, etc. And we do believe that rates are going to be coming down soon. The big biggest thing you're going to want to watch is the inflation numbers. Now, there has been a lot of reports that that number has been coming down, but the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, has made it pretty clear that they want to see that number at a 2% target or going that direction quickly. They may raise rates again, which isn't the mortgage rate, but it does impact mortgage rates. But we're on our way there. And if you see that inflation number coming down and you start hearing things like unemployment is going up, these are the signs that mortgage rates are probably on their way down. If you're someone who's been on the fence, you want to be ready for that time because what often happens is the media is a month behind what's really happening. And if you jump into the housing market when rates have already dropped, I just want to prepare you. It's going to be a very competitive time. Finally, there's some very alarming statistics that will also kind of paint the picture of what's really going on in our economy. Credit card debt reached a trillion dollars nationwide, which is the all time high that has ever been before. And there are a lot of people who just trying to survive because of inflation, because 
wage growth has not really been there, are trying to find a way to continue to support their family. And this is troublesome because most credit card interest rates are in the 20 to 30 percentile range. And so I just wanted to put it out there. If you or someone you know are in a position where you have a lot of credit card debt, there are some solutions and we're going to be doing a financial freedom class. It'll be in this email. We'd love you to share that with someone you know. We want to share with you all the different options for someone to find their way to get out of debt as soon as possible. Because I really think over the next few years, it's going to be super important that people are free of debt and finding ways to make more money. The last thing I just want to say, if you haven't already seen it, is we did realign with a new company, Mortgage One Lending. And we're so excited. Bryce, who's the owner of the company, is a very good friend of mine. I've known him for a long time. I was with the last company for 12 years, but we really feel like we have a company that is not only positioned in the market better with some of our pricing and products, uh, but we have a lot of options right now. And we think that the next few years, there's going to be a pretty big housing run. And so we want to be able to offer products like one closed construction loans, home equity lines of credit, alternative qualifying loans, and things that will really help people with unique situations. So if there's something that you need from me, if we haven't talked in a while, I would love to connect with you. Feel free to respond to the email where you found this video or give me a call at the office. That's it for this month. Thank you guys so much for your support, your referrals, and supporting me and my team through the years. We could not do this without you. I hope you and your family are doing well. Have a great day.